So it's your big audition day, whether it's for a musical theater show on Broadway in New York or for your favorite singing competition on reality TV. It's your day and it's your time to shine. Give it your all at the audition. And I want to make sure that you are as best prepared as you can be. The first thing about going to an audition is that you should know there's probably going to be a thousand people there, really talented people who can sing just like you. And not to get nervous, but at first you might be waiting around for several hours before it is your turn because you're number 367. And one thing I like to do while I'm waiting for an audition to kind of get focused and my head clear is to just do a simple warm up. Just so the trill and starting at a comfortable range in your voice from low to high. And usually it's so noisy that people are talking so much anyways, they don't usually even hear that you're warming up in the back of the room somewhere. And it's also a great exercise to do um, to get rid of a lot of that tension that we may carry when we're nervous about to audition, especially right here in our jaws, in our cheeks. So, and it also warms up the voice as well. It's also important that you have water with you and that you're drinking plenty of water before your audition so your throat is not dry at all. As you're about to go into the audition room, you should have two things prepared with you. One uh, binder with a bunch of sheet music and a headshot and resume. It should be one page, a nice, clear, beautiful photo of yourself with a resume on the background that highlights your past performing, singing, um, education credits, and also your contact information as well. This is very important that the judges or the casting directors may have this so they know um, your experience and how to contact you. And uh, a lot of times if you don't have this, they will not let you into the audition room. So make sure you print a bunch of these out and bring multiple copies with you as well. Your audition notebook is very important. Um, and these should be, you know, a binder of your best go-to songs. Uh, the sheet music for either the band that you're auditioning with or the piano accompanist that will be there at your musical theater audition. You want to have a variety, so have, you know, some standards, some oldies, some classics, and have them neatly organized in a binder like this. The most important thing to know is when you go into the audition, you're only going to have about 30 seconds. Typically, at an audition, they'll ask you to sing a 16-bar cut, and it's very quick. It's literally only about 30 seconds, and you can start anywhere in the song, whether it's the beginning of the song, the middle, the end, somewhere that really showcases your talents and uh, brings out the best in your voice, what you can give you know, your all in these 30 seconds, and make sure that you do mark it clearly for the pianist, just highlighting it either in pencil or a yellow marker or something, or putting a star saying start here and then end here, just like I've done in this music. That's going to be so helpful to the accompanists and they are going to love you for doing that. So here is my mock audition. Say hello and hands, you know, the casting director and judges your headshot and resume. If there is a pianist, just go straight away to the accompanist and say, okay, today I'm going to be singing um, an original or whoever it's by, these are the 16 bars I'd like to sing. Maybe give them the tempo. It goes something like this, or it's a ballad, it starts slow. Give them some type of a feel of how the song goes, because they may not have heard the song before. So once you've done that, you are ready to start your audition. Quickly say your name, slate your name, and the piece that you're going to be singing, and who it's written by. So here it goes. My name is Liz Turner, and today I'll be singing an original piece called Show Me. Show me that you're hot, boy, cause I'm into you. Show me what you got, boy, I'm worthy of you. Show me how you're not, boy, and that I deserve you. Show me that you're hot, show me what you got. And your audition may be as quick as that. Um, sometimes if you have a really great voice, the judges only need to hear, you know, 10 seconds of you singing. It's also important um, to make sure that you hand them, again, your headshot and resume, and if you are singing with the accompanist, to go straight to the accompanist and hand them your audition notebook. 
Um, best of luck with your auditions, and if you follow these steps and being prepared, you're going to have a great audition. So those are some of my audition tips on how to have a successful audition, whether you're auditioning for musical theater or for a pop singing competition. If you'd like to learn more on how to audition better, whether it's for a college audition program or for a summer program or for even your local community production, um, feel free to contact me on LessonFace.com. Again, my name is Liz Turner, and I look forward to hearing from you.